I hope I'm not kept waiting. So much to do. Choose for Connor. What was it that Grace wanted? I'll have a big cappuccino afterwards. Treat myself. Cancer. What am I going to do? What am I going to tell Tom? I didn't even tell him about the appointment. As if he hasn't enough on his plate. With the bank baying for blood. And now this? What is that? Is that me? Right, I'm going. Where's the money to come from? Sultans. Overnights. How will I get the time to? I'm not going to get the time for this. Who's going to do the shopping? The school runs, the cooking, the cleaning, the homework, the farm accounts. Jesus, the farm accounts. Well, I have to finish them before the treatment. 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 Sounds more like a massage and a facial than a dose of toxic chemicals in the disease. <gasps> And the kids. Jesus, the kids. I'm going to die. Well, I could die. I have to remember what they said. Better treatments. Therapies being developed every day. Drugs less invasive. Targeting bad cells only. Recovery rates higher. Yeah, recovery rates. Some dirty, horrible monster scurrying around inside me. Gnawing its way through my flesh like one of Connor's games. Gobbling up everything with its serrated teeth. Why didn't I get it checked out? Why didn't I get it checked out the minute I found that bloody lump? That Monday, last October... Half past seven, late. Going to meet Miss Henderson about that bullying thing with Connor. At least that's all died down. Poor Connor. That split second, just by chance. Feeling that hard, pea-like thing under my breast. Knowing it shouldn't be there. And what did I do? Put it to the back of my mind. Head in the sand. God, how could I have been so stupid? Why me? It's not fair. I'm only 35. I never smoked. What did I do wrong? I cook fresh food. Even porridge. Maybe it's stress. I read somewhere that stress is the biggest cause of cancer. God knows we've had our share. Whoever said farm life was stress-free should take a look in my window at two in the morning. Eyes in the back of my head, filling in reams of forms, account books. An unpaid clerk for the revenue. The sleepless nights and days of worry and making do. And now this, this nightmare. No waking up from this. My God, it's going to change us forever. How will we survive this? Look what happened to the Mastersons. Family just fell apart. Marriage broke up. Poor Susan went through the mill. Changed her a lot. Yeah, a lot. She was kind of nicer after. Nice already. I am. Things will never be the same again. I'll never be the same again. The same Sarah I was until... What time is it? And the side effects? What are they? Feeling sick. No energy. Hair falling out. My hair. I'm going to lose my hair. God, I need some air. down. There's drugs, she said. Anti-sickness drugs, and they work. Look at you. Going about as if nothing has happened. I have cancer. I have cancer.
answer. Is it a fill? Y yeah, a fill. Love. You look a bit shaky. I'm just feeling a bit faint. Is there somewhere I can sit down for a minute? There's a chair over there by the magazines. Take your time. Oh, God. Is this a joke? Are they real? If I have to have a mastectomy, butchered and unbalanced, some grotesque mockery of myself. No more bikinis, low cut tops, no showing off the old cleavage. Up to the neck, padded and hidden from here on in, never to look like me again. God, the one pleasure the tax man hasn't got his hands on, Tom always says. Will he want to make love to me after this? To a body so mutilated that even I won't be able to look at it. Never mind, Tom. God, I've got to stop thinking like this. Stop thinking at all. I should call Tom. Maybe not. I'll call him. Hey. Tom. Are you okay? No, I'm fine. I, I'm, I'm coming home. I, I just stopped for petrol. I want to talk to Mum. Me first. Okay, okay. Take it easy. Look, the kids want a word. Mum, I got first in a recycling project. Miss Henderson's going to enter it in the science competition. And if I win, guess what? <laughs> well, you'll have to tell me. Oh, Connor. I'm so proud of you. That's brilliant. But listen, we'll take it slow, okay? One step at a time. Oh, Grace, I'll get you another pen, all right? <laughs> Okay, I love you. Tom. <laughs> Will I even be around when Connor's his age? Maybe I shouldn't go home at all. It's like I'm bringing home some contagious disease. It's not fair. They don't deserve this. I don't deserve this. How am I going to cope? Seeing my fear reflected in their eyes every waking moment of my life. And what's left of it. Watching them as they watch me fade away into some parchment shadow of myself. Maybe I won't tell them. They don't know anything about the lump or the biopsy. No, I won't say anything. I'll tell Tom next week. God, I never got near a shop. The only thing I'm bringing home is this. This nightmare. Tom. Tom! Hey, I love you too. <laughs> Get a grip. Get a grip. No 
point feeling sorry for yourself. The choice is simple. No hedging or hiding anymore. So yeah, it's going to be tough. Times when you'll want to die, but instead you'll continue on as if everything is normal. When you'll watch the hands of the clock ticking away the seconds and wonder how many you've left. But you'll do the farm accounts, taxi the kids, cook the bloody porridge, and still love Tom. Okay, so your hair will fall out, but it'll grow back, and there's always a more glamorous wig. They said it's curable, and treatment won't last forever. I'll get through it. I'll get through it. Well, I'll try. It's all about living with cancer. Not dying from it. Staying alive for Tom and the kids. You owe it to them. Owe it to yourself. Because, hey, as they say, you're worth it. Yeah, I am worth it. Next year we'll be in Paris. Yeah, maybe. Go on. Have a good day, love. Yeah. I'll tell you about it later. It's good to be home. So did I, love. So did I. <laughs> Come on. For you, Jim. Can you please contact us number 56? How are you? You all right? Yeah. Good oh, man. Have you got oh. the passports? Because I yeah. haven't got them. Do you have them? No, I haven't. All right. I have to let them at home there. It's like, oh, that's terrible. They have to give us a special yeah. test before you went. Because if we can't speak French, then we'll let us go to Disneyland. Exactly. Yeah, precisely. And Space Mountain's okay. not going anywhere, is it? Where's the stairs? So we're, oh, there's the stairs. Do you have the... Do you have the... Disney. 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 Does anyone else Disney. live in Disneyland? Not that I know. But we're going to be living there, aren't we? Well, we won't be living there. Yeah, but like... We will for a week. What this picture of Mickey Mouse? Sorry, watch yourself there. Hey, look. Oh, there. I can safely say, I think, that we've come the wrong way. Oh, great. What do you want to do? Um, I want to go to Disneyland first. Oh, oh we're going to wait. Well, we'll be yeah, checking, checking first. Let's okay. get rid of the bags. Where should we go? It's just down. Look, we're... Oh, great. I'll call it the office. Say it was... You're a perfect start. Out.